CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 10 Mensuration Page 205 Part 1 10.1 1. Introduction When we talk about some plane figures, as shown below, we think of their regions and their boundaries. We need some measures to compare them. We look into these now. We have some different types of figures given here. 10.2 Perimeter We have some figures given here. Look at the following figures. Figure 10.1 You can make them with a wire or a string. If you start from the point S in each case and move along the line segments, then you again reach the point S. You have made a complete round of the shape in each case A, B and C. Page 206 The distance covered is equal to the length of wire used to draw the figure. This distance is known as the perimeter of the closed figure. It is the length of the wire needed to form the figures. The idea of perimeter is widely used in our daily life. A farmer who wants to fence his field. An engineer who plans to build a compound wall on all sides of a house. A person preparing a track to conduct sports. All these people use the idea of perimeter. Give five examples of situations where you need to know the perimeter. Perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go round the figure once. Try these. 1. Measure and write the length of the four sides of the top of your study table. Here is the picture of a study table with the top as A, B, C, D. AB is equal to dash centimeters, BC is equal to dash centimeters, CD is equal to dash centimeters, DA is equal to dash centimeters. Now, the sum of the lengths of the four sides is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is equal to dash centimeters plus dash centimeters plus dash centimeters plus dash centimeters which is equal to dash centimeters. What is the perimeter? 2. Measure and write the lengths of the four sides of a page of your notebook. The sum of the lengths of the four sides is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA, which is equal to dash centimeters plus dash centimeters plus dash centimeters plus dash centimeters which is equal to dash centimeters. What is the perimeter of the page? 3. Mira went to a park 150 meters long and 80 meters wide. She took one complete round on its boundary. What is the distance covered by her? Page 207. 4. Find the perimeter of the following figures. A. We have a rectangle ABCD. Perimeter is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is equal to dash plus dash plus dash plus dash is equal to dash. B. We have a square ABCD. Perimeter is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA is equal to dash plus dash plus dash plus dash is equal to dash. C. We have another figure here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Perimeter is equal to A, B plus B, C plus C, D plus D, E plus E, F plus F, G plus G, H plus H, I plus I, J plus J, K plus K, L plus L, A is equal to dash plus 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 dash, plus dash, plus dash, plus dash, which is equal to dash. D. We have another figure, A, B, C, D, E, F. Perimeter is equal to 
AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FA, which is equal to dash plus dash plus dash plus dash plus dash plus dash, which is equal to dash. So, how will you find the perimeter of any closed figure made up entirely of line segments? Simply find the sum of the lengths of all the sides, which are line segments. Page 208 10.2.1 Perimeter of a Rectangle Let us consider a rectangle ABCD, figure 10.2, whose length and breadth are 15 cm and 9 cm respectively. What will be its perimeter? Perimeter of the rectangle is equal to sum of the length of its four sides, is equal to AB plus BC plus CD plus DA which is equal to AB plus BC plus AB plus BC, which is equal to 2 multiplied by AB plus 2 multiplied by BC, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, AB plus BC, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 15 centimeters plus 9 centimeters, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 24 centimeters, which is equal to 48 centimeters. Remember that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So, AB is equal to CD, AD is equal to BC. Try these. Find the perimeter of the following rectangles. We have four columns. Column 1, length of rectangle. Column 2, breadth of rectangle. Column 3, perimeter by adding all the sides. Column 4, perimeter by 2 multiplied by in brackets, length plus breadth. Length of rectangle 25 centimeters, breadth of rectangle 12 centimeters. Perimeter by adding all the sides is equal to 25 centimeters plus 12 centimeters plus 25 centimeters plus 12 centimeters is equal to 74 centimeters. Perimeter by 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth is equal to 2 multiplied by. In brackets, 25 centimeters plus 12 centimeters is equal to 2 multiplied by 37 centimeters is equal to 74 centimeters. Length of rectangle, 0 0.5 meters. Breadth of rectangle, 0 0.25 meters. Perimeter by adding all the sides, dash. Perimeter by 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, dash. Length of rectangle, 18 cm. Breadth of rectangle, 15 cm. Perimeter by adding all the sides, dash. Perimeter by 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, dash. Length of rectangle, 10.5 cm. Breadth of rectangle, 8.5 cm. Perimeter by adding all the sides, dash. Perimeter by 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, dash. Hence, from the said example, we notice that perimeter of a rectangle is equal to length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. That is, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth. Let us now see practical applications of this idea. Example 1. Shabana wants to put a lace border all around a rectangular table cover. Figure 10.3 3 meters long and 2 meters wide. Find the length of the lace required by Shabana. Solution Length of the rectangular table cover is equal to 3 meters. Breadth of the rectangular table cover is equal to 2 meters. Shabana wants to put a lace border all around the table cover. Therefore, the length of the lace required will be equal to the perimeter of the rectangular table cover. Page 209 Now, perimeter of the rectangular table cover is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 3 meters plus 2 meters, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 meters, which is equal to 10 meters. So, Length of the lace required is 10 meters. Example 2. An athlete takes 10 rounds of a rectangular park, 50 meters long and 25 meters wide. 
find the total distance covered by him. Solution. Length of the rectangular park is equal to 50 meters. Breadth of the rectangular park is equal to 25 meters. Total distance covered by the athlete in one round will be the perimeter of the park. Now, perimeter of the rectangular park is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 50 meters plus 25 meters, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 75 meters, which is equal to 150 meters. So, the distance covered by the athlete in one round is 150 meters. Therefore, distance covered in 10 rounds is equal to 10 multiplied by 150 meters, which is equal to 1,500 meters. The total distance covered by the athlete is 1,500 meters. Example 3. Find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length and breadth are 150 centimeters and 1 meter respectively. Solution. Length is equal to 150 centimeters. Breadth is equal to 1 meter, which is equal to 100 centimeters. Perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 150 centimeters plus 100 centimeters, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 250 centimeters, which is equal to 500 centimeters, which is equal to 5 meters. Example 4. A farmer has a rectangular field of length and breadth 240 meters and 180 meters respectively. He wants to fence it with three rounds of rope as shown in figure 10.4. What is the total length of rope he must use? Solution. The farmer has to cover three times the perimeter of that field. Therefore, total length of rope required is thrice its perimeter. Perimeter of the field is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 240 meters plus 180 meters, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 420 meters, which is equal to 840 meters. Total length of rope required is equal to 3 multiplied by 840 meters, which is equal to 2520 meters. Page 210. Example 5. Find the cost of fencing a rectangular park of length 250 meters and breadth 175 meters at the rate of 12 rupees per meter. Solution. Length of the rectangular park is equal to 250 meters. Breadth of the rectangular park is equal to 175 meters. To calculate the cost of fencing, we require perimeter. Perimeter of the rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, length plus breadth, which is equal to 2 multiplied by, in brackets, 250 meters plus 175 meters, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 425 meters, which is equal to 850 meters. Cost of fencing 1 meter of park is equal to 12 rupees. Therefore, the total cost of fencing the park is equal to 12 rupees multiplied by 850, which is equal to 10,200 rupees. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET. NCERT, New Delhi, India.